Hey, what's up everybody? Um, today I'm going to um, just give a little review from uh, my perspective on the um, NCAA 13. Uh, <clears throat> I'm actually playing the demo version. I'll just give you a quick, you know, review of some of the things that I like and dislike about the game. And feel free also, you know, to leave comments or whatever and, you know, give your input of what you think good about the game or, you know, whatever. Well, uh, this is a um, presentation starting out. I'm playing with um, LSU and Alabama. I actually just picked LSU. Um, it's not my team or whatever, but, you know, of course, in the demo, the dynasty mode, they give you um, choices on who to pick. They already have the choices for you, so you just have to choose some um, a team. Uh, this is the kind of like the pre-game warm-up, uh, something new they added this year, which I think is it's pretty good. Um, the, this is coming up now is the presentation. Uh, presentation is definitely um, good. Uh, that's something they had in NCAA 12 that I liked and they stayed true to it this year in 13 which is definitely a plus to me is the um, presentation. That's something that kind of won me over with uh, 13, I'm, I'm sorry, with 2012. The presentation was just phenomenal and they stayed true to that so that's a good thing as well. I'll show a little bit of the presentation. I'm quite sure if you got 12 you already pretty much seen it uh, for the ones that are new to you know NCAA period then you know it's something they can look at so the presentation is definitely a plus in my book um, so those are definitely some things from last year that they kept which is good You know, skip that and you know, go ahead and go to the field. Um, some of the special features they also have this year is um, they have the Heisman Challenge, and I'll do a little review on that on the next video. Um, but this is pretty much the gameplay. Uh, they supposedly made it to this year where the kick return or punt return is, is not that difficult to do. Um, this is the studio update, which is pretty good. Um, it don't matter if they have it in there to me or not, but it's it's pretty good. You know, it just kind of let you know what's going on with some of the games around the league. And as you um, see, the play the play choice is pretty much similar to. Um, last year, which is not, which is not a bad thing in my book. Uh, one thing that um, also that is pretty good this year is that they added that the, um, the receivers are cornerbacks or safeties or linebackers or whatever now can't really make an interception unless they are turning around facing the ball so I think that's definitely uh, a pretty good feature now you have to look at the ball like they did right there to make a catch and also what they added new too is definitely good for um, the passing they added to where now if the person is not open, the icon will remain invisible until they feel like they open and then it'll become solid once they get open. Um, now this player right here I'm going to try to do with the uh, tight end. It's a, uh, something that that I liked it in 12 but this year I don't really care for it because as you see the pass uh, to the tight end in 12 you usually can catch the ball and you know control the player to keep moving up the field instead of trying to go out of bounds but it's like this year when you do that play the person automatically runs out of bounds and it's like it's kind of hard to control them to make him come back in bounds so I really don't like that this year because that's definitely a nice play 
when you're um, trying to get short yardage and things. And sometimes you can even get long yardage. It depends on how the defense reacts to the play. And that's something that um, that I'm kind of upset about this year is that now when you do that play, the tight end automatically runs out of bounds. When at 12, you used to can, you know, catch it and then, you know, keep going, you know, and try to get more yardage. So that's something that I don't like. I don't know if it's like that because, um, you know, maybe that's something they're working on or something they got to work on because this is a demo version. So I don't know if it'll be like that in the um, actually game when it released. Um, or if any of you guys watching this video know a way that I can, you know, kind of control that without the computer just taking over, then, hey, feel free to, you know, let me know. But that's definitely one of the things um, this year that I don't like about it is that because that, those are definitely a go-getter when you need some short yards at tight end to hit him on that or whatever. But, oh, as you see a pick. <laughs> Or whatnot, but yeah. So that's pretty much um, the flaw I pretty much have with the game is just that. Like everything else, to me, looked pretty good. I mean, I like how now you literally have to be watching the ball now in order to make a catch and things like that. There's no, there's no more you um, having your back turned and still making the catch and stuff. So that is definitely a little more realistic than I like about that that they added to the gameplay. Um, everything else pretty much is um, good to me. Um, pretty much like I say the gameplay is somewhat like last year with you know some features and stuff they added like some of the quarterback step backs and things like that or cadence and what they would call it. Those features right there that that's definitely pretty good. Um, but other than that, I like the game. I mean, you can give me your input and, you know, give me your input on it or whatnot. And my thing is this, and I've noticed uh, a lot of games are kind of following the same format, is that um, if the game, you know, in my opinion, if the game was a success, like, you know, last year, like 12. 12 was pretty good last year. So the thing that we have to realize too when it comes out to the you know the market if they had good reviews and things like that on the game they did last year then that would be kind of good in a way to kind of stick to the same format if you know if you had a success with it and not change it up too much for the users and they'd be like oh my god you know so I can kind of definitely see where they tried to stay true to last year because it definitely was a you know good game last year. They tried to stay true with that and add some more features into it, and that's something you know what they did. They added a little more features to it, but I mean, wow, they tried to do a fake punt. Nice. It's kind of up to you, you know. Some people, you know, some of my friends, what they'll do is they'll just you know stick with 12 since it's so much similar. And little small stuff like this studio updates, um, the Heisman Challenge, stuff like that really probably don't really matter to them. So, you know, if, if things like that don't really matter, then, you know, hey, don't spend, you know, the $64 on it or whatever. But, you know, if those things matter to you, then go ahead and spend the money. But that's definitely something that we have to take into consideration is when um, if it was a success, you know, if I was making a game, if it was a success, then I'm not going to try to too much go way different from that. I'm going to still try to stay true to the game of how it was a success last year and then just add some more features on top of it. And yeah, I definitely, definitely would listen to the community and hear, you know, the fan point of view and, you know, hear what they would like for me to add and things like that. But I really believe that's why they, they kind of pretty much stayed true to 12 and just added some features to it. Um, I could be wrong, but if you think otherwise, hey, feel free, you know, to let me know or whatever. But um, that's what it just seemed like, the reason why they did that. Um, I'll be back with another video to um, kind of show you the Heisman Challenge and, you know, give my input on that. But other than that, hey... 
it's definitely a great game um, with some definitely you know good features they added to it but you know if you don't care about all the little extra features they added into it then hey stay with 12 but you know if it matters then why not cock it all right